today we will be making our America book. Um, you should have a bag in your in your supplies with all these little strips of paper, this paper, a black paper. You'll need your usual thing, scissors, glue. Uh, you might or might not need a trash tray um, and you need a red crayon. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the America. Oh, you know what? I guess you also need a pencil. You're going to color the A in the America with your red crayon. Now, you could use a red marker. You could use a red pencil. The important thing is that it is red. It's not violet red. It's not some other strange color of red because um, that is what we are because this is for our book and America's color is red. So on this you are going to write your name on the line. Okay? So and I am going to start out by just setting that aside. Okay, so the strips here. I started gluing some of these ahead of time. Like that. And you can see I got too much glue on that one. Uh, this one's yellow. It's a little hard to tell. This one's white. We have light blue. We have some darker blue. And we have some red. So what you are going to be making is um, like fireworks in, up in the sky. Okay? I have given you more than you need. There, there should be more than you need here. Okay? Um, you can see I started a white fire, fireworks. I've got a yellow one. The yellow one is a little smaller than that one, which is fine. It's more interesting to have different sizes. So I'm going to show you, I've got these here glued on, and I'm going to show you how to get the smaller pieces. Actually, you know, yeah. So to make these, you know what, I am going to make, I'm going to make a red one. So I'm taking one. One strip will make this, okay? So I fold it in half, and I cut it on the fold and then I fold each of these in half and cut it on the fold. Take this one, fold it in half and cut it on the fold. Okay, so now I have four and I can decide where I want this firework to be. Okay, now I'm going to show you a way to put the glue on where hopefully you're not going to get it all over yourself and hopefully you don't get too much on. So by holding this, well, you can do this. You can put little bits of glue on. I would only glue it on this corner and that cor corner, not um, all over because then you won't have a place to hold it. So another thing you can do is just kind of dab a little glue and then I'm going to hold it in the middle and then I'm going to dab a little more glue and it doesn't need much of this of white glue. And I put a, got a little too much on that one. Okay, whoops. So a little glue, a little glue and I can glue that one and then a little glue and a little glue and I can glue this one. Okay, so now I have this, but this isn't th that exciting. So now I'm going to make smaller ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half, cut it on the fold, and then set that one aside and I'm not going to use it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to fold it in half, open it up, cut it on the fold, fold it in half, whoops, open it up, cut it on the fold, 
and then I'm going to use a little bit of glue. Now these are so small and they're really hard to hold, so I am just going to put glue on one side. One side of the of that because it's it's um and I'm going to be laminating these. So they'll be on there really well. Okay, I'm going to cut that in half. Uh, whoops, stick that out like that. Add, add a little bit of glue like that. And maybe I'm going to cover the hole in the middle. Okay, so now it looks like a little more interesting. Okay, now this one that I already started, I'm going to actually, instead of putting small ones in the middle, I'm going to put more big ones. So that looks like the middle to me. I'm going to add a little glue on that, add a little more glue, and then glue that coming out. Some glue, more glue, and glue that on. Take this one, that looks like about the middle. I'm going to put glue on at that one, some glue, and there we go. So that one is kind of all the same length. So you can make them shorter, you can make small ones, you can make big ones. I'd like you to, if you can fit five on, that's great. If, you, if three, that works too. Um, these I can make a little smaller. You'll notice that your yellow actually is a little smaller. So, um, like I said, I gave you way more than you need, and I'd like you to see how many you can fit on there. So it looks like we have a nice, fantastic um, fireworks show going on. So, let's see. Oh, kind of stuck. Okay, so uh, once you're done with that, or you could glue this on first, you're going to add some glue dots and we're going to glue this up at the top and then this is going to get glued down here below it. Um, make sure that none of your pieces are sticking off of the make sure the black is not coming off of the blue make sure you leave some blue around the edges because I will have to cut it in order to make it go through the laminator, I have to, you know, cut off that. So you just need to make sure that it's inside your blue, the blue cover. Okay? So this will be the cover of your book. You don't need to put your name on the back because it's on the front already. Okay. Oh, wow, you can't see my name. Oh, there it is. Okay, so have fun. Uh, be creative and see what you can come up with for your fireworks.